show a trailer park as your backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We're doing a removal of an apartment complex today. Give us a rundown, Pete. Afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> bees, stings, you can't run. We got a steel structure here on the corner where the bees are going in. This is one my brother came out and scoped. And this is void. Yeah, that's the two before, but that's not. Tommy came out and looked at it though and called me, got me on FaceTime, and we were thinking they were in the floor between storage room. This is a concrete uh, balcony. So we had planned on doing a storage room, didn't know if we were going in bottom or top. And unfortunately for the tenants, both of these storage rooms were pretty loaded up. The, the top one wasn't so bad, so I told them we'd go in through the floor upstairs, so we had them empty out their storage room. Some of it's on the port. Of course, Tommy didn't have the benefit of the FLIR, but I did and our heat signature is out here so and they're making noise so the tenants get to do a spring cleaning on their storage rooms so i didn't i almost didn't bring a ladder because i had planning plan on going through the upstairs floor and pete loaded a ladder which is good for him because he can't really reach out <laughs> I, feel, I have to fall and get one we we, we look. had some osb kind of not really well fitted, so it looked like somebody had been in that upstairs floor before. But the FLIR shows heat right here, and every time I call the FLIR a liar, it proves me wrong, so we're gonna trust it. We're gonna go right here, and I'm there's falling a, over a bag of pot and soil. There's a two by it runs right here. Hey, <laughs> you hear that rooster? Boop, da, da, da. That sounds a little late, ain't it? <laughs> hey, he's keeping my hours. <laughs> that rooster went out a little bit last he, night. He just got up. I was getting a start on my hydration. Down in body armor and I dumped it all down my shirt. That's what I'm talking about right there. Make it nice up in that corner. Oh, look at that. It's capped all the way around the bottom. Dude, that is honey from the rooter to the tutor. It looks like it starts to brood by the first foot of it. And they're so gone. By now they'd be after us, but they're just oh, no. chilling. This little piece of 3 8 has given us, we started prying on the back corner there, giving us trouble, man, because it did not want to move. You can see where we were crushing in on that, All right. that backer board. Look, see if there's a queen for you to throw. Oh, I'm bringing it down for you. I didn't want to throw it. I was going to just set it out there. Yeah, it took a minute to get into this, but look at that honey, man. It looks like a... If you could smooth cut the bottom of them combs, you could probably see all the way through the top of it. <laughs> That's some light colored honey right there. Green honey. Hive smells good. Oh, yeah. I mean, they kept it around. Yeah, we're just starting to expand out this way. Good, strong hive. Been here for a couple years at least. Now, what's going to be fun is corralling the bees without having to cut the ceiling in that storage room because they are able to run over. You can see they can run across the framing. There's no, no hive in the storage room, but they sure can run that way to hide. So we'll probably end up running repellent over in there before we're done. So the boss lady let her get her look before we rip it apart. Triple wide. Come on, man. I live in the South. I know bigger is better. <laughs> triple wide trail is better than a single wide. <laughs> We're going triple wide today. Good solid footing. We're ready to work. Well, no, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> we're both, we are both full of trout and gumbo, and I'm ready for a nap. Oh, man, and gumbo make an oak tree look good. They really are calm. It's just surprising how calm they are. Yeah, they are. I don't even want to take this one out. I just want to look at how pretty that comb is. It really is. It's... Look how clear the, how full it is and how clear the cap is. They're very efficient at what they do. They're very calm. 
this is a really really good gene pool to uh, get into your heart and get into your house yeah i don't even want to pull them so i'm gonna leave them here and we'll come <laughs> we'll put a hinge on the sailor and come harvest them every year <laughs> good lord you got one of those anyway huh <laughs> we looked at one of those and put them back before i know the only thing i said was some cheap looking office desk looking junk my wife gets better when i steal a blanket at night than they are don't jinx us. 28 Dirt Rooster. That's how we get subscribers, one at a time. All right, I have you ready to run. All right, plan of attack on this one because of the way it's built, because the honey's it, the easiest to get to. That's what we're going for first. And we're going to leave this. This will be last. You, you didn't pick up my final one, did you? No, I forgot. I sent you a note. I know, I didn't see it until I got back in the truck, though. I left my phone in the truck charging. Oh. Why'd you even take the phone <laughs> <laughs> So it could charge while I was gone. We ain't using no smoke yet, and we're not vacuuming yet. Yeah, no stings yet. We're, we were just laughing because I had my clean out bucket sitting below this work platform while ago when I was up on it. I stepped off the platform, stepped right into the bucket. Funny in that one already. But we didn't have the video running, so nobody gets to see it but the man that was sitting on the stairs watching us. Yeah, we're honey already. So what'd you think of that honey? That's why I'm sitting out here sweating because this honey is the best. 628 dirt roots. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need the smoker to run them back so I don't start getting stung. I'm gonna dip out just a little bit of honey for myself. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. I'm trying to get my share. <laughs> <laughs> I had to beat you to it though. Run the bees off of it so I can cut it out. Alright, here we go. I'm going to cut it out. You can't even mind if you brought a jar down. I bet you have to taste really Oh yeah, after sampling it, you're going to want some. You're smoking, they're still not going crazy. They just got to get off. No, they just, they're just calm as they can be. They're just backing off. You really need to find your screen. If I smoke the bottom of it, they'll fly out and go around and come back in, but it just is laid back. I ain't even stung yet. And I don't need to smoke other than just to run them off the cones so I don't crush a bunch of them. I haven't even been bumped yet. Nah, I mean, it's... I'd be surprised if anybody's been stung off of this hive. You get enough? You get enough for you? You want some more? You got to have a bigger container than that. Yeah, you got yeah. doesn't look like fun to cut out, but it's all stuck up against that coordination. And it's all cross combed up in it, too. On that end, it is. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> I'm having to do surgery on the thing. Yeah, we'll fix him up. Honey, honey. Honey, won't you open that door? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the song that comes to my mind. <laughs> <laughs> psychedelic age <laughs> yeah yeah and i think the band was called strawberry wine they put it out <laughs> hey, what song it was something about honey and it was strawberry wine they put it out I remember it but it was something about making strawberry uh um, that's strawberry wine but making it um, basically me no, i don't remember that song Oh, I gotta get a video. See, I gotta get a video of you eating some. Well, we don't drip on hers. <laughs> 628 Dirt Rooster. Some of the best honey you can ever get.
Penguin Lick Lagoon. The bees in the back of the truck, the pickup truck was going when I got there, meaning the bees. Oh, yeah, they were. And that was just foraging bees. <laughs> yeah, they were fighting. Fighting for what was in that truck. I had some cutout comb in the back of my truck overnight, and when Pete got there this morning, my truck was a a literal swarm, robin frenzy in the back in the bed of my truck. So he texts me and says, "Hey, your truck's unlocked with a really nice camera sitting on the seat." And I said, "Yeah, it's a bait truck. Yeah, you can burn paper or cotton or uh, burlap or anything like that." And, you burn sticks, pine cones. It's got a, a little hole in the bottom that can draft there, but not a lot. But when you squeeze that thing, it shoots that area into it. It's, like, it's almost like blowing on it. And that's why it smokes up. But it's, on the top of it, it's packed. I've jammed it very strong with a whole bunch. So it's not a whole space for it to flame out. But it's smoke it real good. I stopped eating uh, oh, no. beet balls and steadies and all that for a long time because I couldn't. Now, I ain't gonna wait anymore. How's that corrugation affecting you? Uh, it's making it a little tough. That's the part when I opened it up and looked at it, I was like, oh no. <laughs> Uneven surface. I know it. Yeah, it's making it a little hard. It doesn't help that I broke the fiber one either. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that didn't help. Yeah, it's raining though. My arms are wet with honey. Yeah. My shirt's wet with honey. Still not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> my shoes are wet with honey. My shoes have. That's normal. My shoes had so much honey on them from yesterday when I got home. The dog started licking my shoes. <laughs> I'm like, get off of me, dog. Last week I had one so bad. The dog, in front of this shirt, right here, and then I wear it. I wear always wearing on shirt. Oh, he so was through he, and through. He I was drowning it. last week in honey. I had to take my shirt off with a garden hose and squeeze and rinse it out on the job site. He looked like he stood under this thing and crushed one of them over his head. It was just raining on him. I don't think from I don't think from the angle I'm showing you you can really understand what I'm dealing with here. You can see this one piece, it looks like one piece all the way across, but it's not. It's split it's wise right here, so these back here, you see how they were kind of built together? They look separate up top, but they were all interlaced coming down. These right here look like they start to clean up a little bit. They're still, this one's a wire right here, this one's a wire right here. And then it looks like it starts getting into one piece. Well, it looks like it's open all the way to the top. I'll s separate that right there. Money goes further than I thought it did. Now you gotta smoke further. Yeah, that's an old cap thing over here. Yeah. You said I do have this over here if you need another. I don't know if it'll expose right. Look it up in the dark up in here. Your eyes got bigger when you turn the corner and look up. <laughs> trying to think it's next to that one piece, but I think it's attached to up in there somehow. Yeah. You can get it like that. Past the wall here. Past two and a half, three years. Get you out and never seen it like this. I ain't had the first thing. 
Maybe it's because I'm camouflaged with honey. <laughs> yeah, you got it raining pretty good. Yeah, let me see if I can adjust this so you can see the rain. It's just a steady stream. The way that hair, that headband just scares me away from you. <laughs> got to get me one of those. Yeah, that's probably what it is. <laughs> Gotta be. Oh, they just stuck coming, living in time, doom tunes in their in their heads, and just forgot about you. <laughs> they seen that now. Coming to from the seventies, man. <laughs> they're not waggling; they're doing an awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this part, the hole, the upper hole on them, you couldn't see it from the inside. It's only like about that big. Now the lid, lid is this caked with char. Yeah, I just cleared it up. I'm gonna go fire it up, make sure it fires up good. It still ain't gonna smoke as good as this one. It might. <laughs> we're about a foot into the hive now and we're still in solid honey. And this is just really some of the prettiest, best tasting honey. Glad to have it. It's coming out really clean. It's not breaking apart. It's pretty easy to handle as I'm taking it down. Gonna be a nice batch of honey. Probably get um Pete just took off about a gallon that he's taking home. That's probably what I'm taking out of here that's left to be, be another two gallons maybe. I'm still not in the brood yet, so I don't know for sure, but it's there's a good uh two gallons I pulled out already. What's it in an old smoky jar? Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Pint and a half. Pint and a half. Oh. I knew it was bigger than a pint. Yeah. That's what you crushed out just now? Good stuff. My arms are slap coated in honey. I'm about to find a water hose to clean off him before I get back in my truck. Yeah, I just cut it down by about 2,000 bees right there. 2,000. That's about 2,000 bees. I ain't got to worry about coming back on this honeycomb. So the further in I work, they'll pile up, I'll back them again. I thought it was Varroa, but it's too big for Varroa and it's on the pollen sack. I don't know what it is, something shiny red. You got honey raining on my camera. <laughs> I have no clue what this bee's got on her. She's got a dirt rooster on her. I, just, I saw something bright red and I thought it was Varroa, so I grabbed her just to look. And uh, some on the pollen sacks, so some probably something they're making propolis out of. I don't know. Everybody walks in the grass. As long as they stay off the sidewalk. <laughs> as long as you stay off the sidewalk, you're safe. <laughs> they're safe around here anyway. Yeah, this is without a doubt the most laid back hive we've taken out. And uh because I've been with you two for three years and I've never seen one open it and not bump you. They just didn't care. Yeah. Still not bumping me. No. I'll tell you what, Pete, as gentle as these bees are, I'm thinking I'm just going to stick the queen clip up there in the open position. She'll probably just walk in it and give herself <laughs> up. Because no lie, I, I mean, I ain't even stung, but one time, because I had one crawling on the back of my neck and I tried to grab her and I pushed her into my neck. I so, queen my comes. bad. Those two, first two columns right in front of you are clean cups. Yeah, they're cups. They're not cells there. I don't see any cells anywhere. Plenty of drone brood popping up. Albert, you ready to take your turn up here, man? No, no. <laughs> you got close. You, you're getting pretty comfortable around them, though. You I, might as well. I know. You really are. You really are way up. Most people don't have nothing to do with this. Yeah. this, this I mean, y'all make, make me feel comfortable. I'm fixing to cut you some more honey out. You ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready to see it. Clean and ready to go. Wow. That ladder's shaking, man. This is a wild moment. You're making me nervous. You made Don't me nervous fall. too. I'm not sure if it's the ladder or my knees was making a noise. They swarm me. How you right? It almost looks like a tick stuck on the back of it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's not a, it's not Varroa. I mean, bright red liquid. Yeah, I don't know what they're getting. I saw some of it up on the framing. There's, there's some on the frame right here. They're using it for propolis. I can see now what they're doing with it. I have no clue what it is there. All their propolis is bright red. That's just the browns on the old. 
any higher than that, I'm not allowed up on it without written permission from my wife. Look at all that larva. Got a real good layer in here. Man, I tell you what, no lie, this is the calmest colony we've ever removed. I mean, I think you could stand here and whip them with a switch and they wouldn't get upset. <laughs> Maybe it's because we got gumbo on our breath. Yes. I'm happy with that. All right, you're recording. <laughs> Upside down. Y'all come to help or heckle? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> sure did. Whichever one we can do. You know they ain't here to help. Did I call Did it look wrong? orange to you? Huh? Did I call it wrong? Was it in a different place? Yeah, they're in the balcony. Oh, they wasn't in the shed. No. Nah. Okay. Yep. That was a good one, though. Yeah. Nice side. Laid back, too. Lead back. Lead back. <laughs> With my mind on my money and my money on my mind. That's right. Is that right? So, uh, a lady in Purvis, Miss Melissa Love, is opening up a new mercantile store. And uh, we just went by there and dropped her off some finger juice honey. And her husband gave us a multitude. Sweet. Ain't that nice? Mm -hmm. It's got a can opener, a knife edge, screwdriver, a ruler. Where's that at? Uh, in Purvis. On 589. What's the name of the store? Uh, Mercantile General Store. Butterfly Wrench, Saw Blade. Shrimp Creole, shrimp gumbo, pan fried, shrimp and potatoes. That's that's about it. We're gonna do a whole product review on the yeah. multi tool. Well, I figured we'd use it for a cutout. Here, here see, see if you can use it for a cutout. One thing I do is clear bees off. <laughs> 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 flick them right on my face. Clear bees off the joist. <laughs> You ran over Pete Smoker with, yeah. your, with your truck? I ran over Pete Smoker with my truck. Just, it was just a sign of disrespect is all it was. <laughs> 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 you can run over more, that one works really good. <laughs> yeah, that one smokes better than mine does. Is that the one? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. The, the new honey drips is what he just put on it today. That's that new bellage you sent me. That thing was flat. <laughs> it works. Did y'all find a Cuban body man and fix it? <laughs> Cajun. <laughs> <laughs> you act like an old guy. You said that's a girl. That's a guy with earrings. No, that's a girl. No, that's a guy. I can't believe they're building up there. There's nothing. They're not going nowhere. No, nah, they're just piling up. That's all right. We can put that ceiling back and give them, give them more time to pile up. You got any bees piled up up there? No. No. I just drip in the bucket. <laughs> Could electric fan right there. I didn't get to see you use his nail gun. I'm that quick. I want to see a professional at work. Job's done. Got the fresh headband on and a dry shirt. Headed to Wing King. Ooh, that's a pothole there. Glad I missed that. I get played dodge the guys. You've arrived. Hey, we've arrived at the original wing king. But what time is it gonna close? <laughs> the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't honey. We closed down the wing, King. There goes my queen up top. The long one. The long one. I just blue dotted her. I don't know what year she is, but she got a blue dot right now. Put some attendance in with her. Now I gotta find some some wax. I don't have any candy made up. I just plug this cage with wax. There she is. Alive and well. I just pinched some wax off some old trash comb. A lot of these removals where I don't show the queen 
because I didn't find her on removal, but I find most of them later. When I'm either when I'm putting them in the box, or I'll go back in and check and make sure you got to make sure they're queen right. If you don't, you'll have issues with that box later on. But got this one. Walk it in about seven pounds of bees. Mm -hmm. There's always a, a small loss on any removal. You can see right there on the bottom, there's maybe 500 dead. But look, it's a cluster of live, healthy bees. Mm -hmm. My hair in the dark with no protection on, with white lights on. And they're not attacking me, which is uncharacteristic because I did not spray with water or anything to keep them calm. I didn't do anything to keep them calm. Just letting them walk. There's no uh, drawn comb or anything in here. It's just some freshly waxed frames. You can see that they're liking the smell of it. They're coming on out of this back box and walking down in. I'm just going to leave this box out here and give them a little while and come back. Right now the worst thing I hear is the mosquitoes, not the bees. And instead of sitting out here feeding mosquitoes, I'll go inside and let these girls do their thing, and I'll come back out and check on them in about an hour. And fast forward three hours. It's bedtime. And I finally remember to come out here and check on them. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a button. Looks like about half of them went in. The rest of them are gonna have to be coaxed. Or in other words, shaken, but not stirred. Here's what we do in order to make that happen without dumping a bunch of trash in the box, because you will have sheetrock chunks, insulation, garbage, hive beetles, just junk you don't want to dump in your box. They'll take care of the beetles later, but take a knife or five and one or whatever rake the garbage out of the bottom of it nice and clean with bees I don't have a tripod so I'm gonna try to one hand this without crushing Ooh, I just dumped a chunk on the ground I mean 6, 628 dirt rooster where beekeeping is a hobby and a way of life <laughs> with this sweet Honey. <laughs> <laughs> Can't use that though. <laughs>